evening, everyone. It's Wednesday night, and it's time for our youth message. And I tell you all the time about how amazing God is, how he just speaks to me in my devotion time. And so I wanted to share with you some of the things from my devotion time. Prayer and uh, reading my Bible are very, very important to me. And um, sometimes praying is hard. Sometimes I feel like I'm not good at it or I don't say the right thing or I don't know what to say. And I've even talked to a few people and I've heard them say, I, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to talk to God. I, I don't, I'm afraid I'm going to say the wrong thing. So I want to take a look at those things today. So I have two scripture verses I want to look at. The first one is from Psalms. It's Psalm 62, verse 8. And it says, pour out your heart to him, for God is your refuge. And then the second one is Matthew 7, 8. For everyone who asks, receives. And he who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. When I was a, a little girl, I there was you know several people that when they prayed, I was always like, wow, they're amazing prayers. I wish I could pray like that. And I never wanted to pray out loud. I didn't want to pray out loud because I, I always thought I'm not good at it. I don't know what to say. You know, and I don't want to stumble over my words. And I, I was just very nervous about it. And then one day I was in a, I think it was a youth group, if I remember. I was, was in high school. And we were going around saying a prayer. And I don't remember the situation exactly, but there was something going on in somebody's life. And I can't remember what it was or who it was. But there was something going on and we were praying for this person and we were just taking some time to pray and people were you know saying things out loud and i was like i don't know what to say i don't know what to say i don't know what to say but i was praying internally and i realized you know what i can say everything i need to say here, I don't need to vocalize it because God hears my prayer. If I say something out loud right now, is it really about me or is it, is it about, you know, the situation and is it about God or is it about me and me wanting people to hear me pray? And so I decided not to say anything. And it was huge for me. It was a huge decision because I always felt like I had to pray out loud, but I didn't want to. And in the situation, I remember feeling I can't. I can't pray out loud. I don't, I don't know what to say and I don't want to say the wrong thing. But in my heart, I was saying everything that was coming to me. I was pouring out my heart to God, just like in Psalm 62, 8, pour out your heart to him. For God is our refuge. And I wish I could remember the situation. I remember how I felt though. And then there was another situation. I was teaching at St. Bonds and we had a kindergarten teacher and um, she just had a baby. She had just returned back to work and we ha were having a staff meeting and I was walking down the hall to go to the staff meeting and the secretary um, was running down the hall and she had this look on her face. I'll never forget the look on her face. And I got into the library where the staff meeting was and all of a sudden I heard her screaming for the kindergarten teacher. And she came running into the room and she said the teacher's name and she said her daughter's name. And she said, she's not responding. And the teacher jumped up and ran and a couple people followed her and the rest of us just immediately went to prayer. And we could hear the teacher screaming as she's running down the hallway. That mother's scream 
that you never want to hear the scream of knowing your baby it's your baby and you don't know what's going on all of us went to prayer and, and it was a catholic school and i'm not catholic you guys know that so everybody started praying the rosary but it wasn't what was in my heart the rosary was not was not in my heart it wasn't the prayer i wanted to pray and so everybody else around me was praying the rosary and i just started pouring out my heart to god and i just prayed for the teacher and her family i prayed for the babysitter i prayed for the doctors and the nurses and the paramedics and as I was praying, I felt and I saw and I knew that the baby died. I saw, I saw the baby. Now I'd only seen this baby one time, but I saw the baby. And the baby was being held by someone. I didn't know who, but it was being held by someone. And I knew that the baby was gone. And as soon as I saw this person I didn't know holding the baby, I knew the baby was gone. And my prayers immediately changed to caring for the family in the time of grief. And it actually helped me when the news came that she, she had passed. And when we got to be together with the teacher again and her family and going to the funeral, it was those prayers that sustained me. It was those prayers that kept me going, knowing that I had poured out my heart to God and I was continuing to pray for them. And it's been 13, 14 years now since, since they lost their child. They never had any more kids after that. They, they had two before and then they had this baby. And their two older ones, they're, they're graduated high school and they're in college now. But it was that time of prayer. It opened my eyes to who God is and it doesn't matter what you say or how you say it. Say it from your heart. And if you pray out loud or if you pray in your heart, it doesn't matter. Just pour out your heart to God. So I want to read a couple of the things that came to me today from my scripture, from my devotions. God wants to hear from you. Be honest, be yourself, pour out your heart to him. It doesn't matter what you say or how you say it. The kind of honesty that you pour out to God deepens your friendship and your relationship with him. He doesn't want us to emulate other people's prayers or their jargon or adopt their prayer style because we think they sound better than we do. The Lord has given you a distinct personality and heart, and he loves to have you express them. He made your voice. And just as I love to hear my children talk and, and other children talk and sing and play, God loves to hear your voice. In whatever language you speak to him, because you are his child, you are accepted, you are loved. You don't have to sound like your minister or your youth leader, or a more spiritually mature friend. When you come to God, come as you are. He's waiting to bless you and show you his love. Isn't that beautiful? And then this one also today. It just amazes me how it goes. So I'm going to kind of read the whole thing here. Prayer for most of us is not a matter of a month-long retreat or even an hour of meditation. Prayer is a conversation with God while driving to school or awaiting an appointment or before interacting with someone. Prayer can be an internal voice that directs your external action. This much is sure God will teach you to pray. Don't think for a minute that he is glaring at you from a distance with crossed arms and a scowl, waiting for you to get your prayer life together. Exactly the opposite. 
He says, here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and eat with you and you will eat with me. So what does this mean? Jesus waits on the porch. He stands on the threshold. He taps and he calls. He waits for you to open the door. To pray is to open that door. Prayer is the hand of faith on the door handle of your heart. The willing ones pull. The happy ones welcome Jesus and say, Come in, O King. Come in. We speak. He listens. He speaks. We listen. This is prayer in its purest form. God changes his people through moments such as these. Both of those were from my scripture readings today, and one was from Max Licato, and the other one was from my Women's Daily Friendship devotional. And both of them just spoke to me volumes today, and I wanted to share that with you. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, remind us that the words that we speak, you already know. Before they're even on our lips, you know what's on our heart. Help us to pour out our hearts to you, to share our lives with you, and to just be the person you created us to be. In your very precious name, amen. You guys have a great, great Wednesday. Love y'all. Miss ya. Can't wait to see you again.